G'day, Michael here. I've um, shown you the effect that the glass gives. This is printed on the polycrystalline glass without any glue, but this is about my size limit. Now, what I'm producing these days is with the glue, you end up with a bit of a, well, a, a broken gloss. It's not, it's more like a sort of a semi-gloss. There's a small texture to it, which you probably can't see with the video, but there's a small texture to it. Not much. Um, yeah. But what the big plus is, this is a fairly sizable part. Now, let's compare that to my hand. I mean, it's to fit one of these fans. <clears throat> to fit one of these fans, which is quite a sizable fan. Okay, now, the advantage that I've got with this arrangement, using the glue on the glass, is I get flat parts that are big. Now, this is a high density part, really. As you can see, it's nothing but printing. It's, it's um, when I say high density, there's lots of filament stretching from one part of the print to the other in one piece. Even the very top layer is full of filament going from one extreme to the other. And the whole thing is made up like that. A friend of mine has designed this special design. I guess you'd have to talk to him if you needed the design for your purposes. But basically, this is for a weatherproofing situation to stop uh, water and vermin and so forth going into a fan. Now, this fan is for ventilating uh, a structure, his house. If you need uh, to contact him, I can give you his details. But I'll do that in a private message. All right, so... He's designed quite this complex part and he wants me to print them and that's what I'm doing. Now so far, there's one in the machine right now, but I've produced uh, about seven now. But what I mean by flat is they are flat, like they put one against the other, they fit tight the whole area. So they are nicely flat. So I have succeeded here in getting a large print on an FDM machine so that it stays flat like beautifully flat. I don't know whether you can see how perfect that is. Maybe get something with some detail, maybe it gives a reflection. See how flat that is? It's very, very, very perfect. I'm not sure cameras have a habit of distorting shapes, so that's why if I do this, I might just... Uh, you can see that is tight, the full width to the edge. Now, if there was any sort of cupping, you'd see a gap. And they're, they're just beautifully flat. So I'm very, very happy with that. In any case, uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.